and welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone it's Keith once again and today I'm going to show you how to flash a Radeon RX 5700 to the RX 5700 XT to eliminate this limit right here so if you try to overclock in Wattman you'll find that 1850 MHz is where you're going to top out with a 5700 XT just to pro pull it up we're going to have GPU-Z showing you 5700 XT 2304 shaders 1750 on the memory 1275 on the GPU clock boost of 1750 that's the big kicker there 1750 boost cut all right we'll go ahead and minimize that now you'll need a few things to do this i would recommend gpu z for one just to monitor the changes there but you're going to need the latest amd ati flash utility from tech power up as well as a v a vga v bios for the 5700 XT. And if you don't have a 5700 XT on hand, it's actually fairly easy to get a hold of. Just go over to Tech Power Up's GPU VGA BIOS collection and just drill down through AMD through the 5700 XT. They have three models available online and I would avoid the 50th anniversary models just because those clocks are quite a bit more aggressive. And I would go with the vanilla RX 5700 XT. Just go ahead and download and I've downloaded it right there. It's gonna be in my downloads folder. And with the AMD ATI flash, I've already extracted it and have it available right here on my desktop. Go in there and you'll hit right click it and hit run as administrator. Otherwise it may give you an error. So this is the program itself. Go ahead and minimize that so that you have it here. Now at this point you can go ahead and load the image, but what I would recommend that you do first, if this is the first time you've done something like this, hit save. I've already saved it and named it Vanilla 5700 ROM and I saved it into the folder with the ATI flash so that it's easy to find if I have a problem. So that's saved, ROM file saved to image or image saved to file and go ahead and hit load. Now the 5700 XT V BIOS is in my downloads folder. I've already downloaded it twice. We'll go ahead and download, open the original one and hit program. You want to hit program and it will start flashing. Now again, the idea here is to remove that limit. You're going to see in a moment that it's not actually going to fully unlock the GPU. There were cards in the past where that could happen. If you notice there, it did say not responding. That will happen. It stops responding as it's flat writing the new flash. So don't freak out and don't touch anything until that part is done. Your BIOS was programmed successfully. Hit OK. Hit reboot. Now we're gonna let Windows restart here. It's gonna take it a few seconds and we're doing all this live and while I'm gonna hit restart anyway, no, not really sure what was trying to run in the background, but either way, doing this live just to show you kind of how lengthy the process is because I think some people get a little bit scared of doing it. It's not really that big of a deal, especially if you've been messing with Radeon cards for quite some time. All right, let's see, Whoop, back into Windows. We got the flash and Let's see, that was fairly quick. Let's see if it worked. So tech power, open GPU Z. And it now says we have a Radeon RX 5700 XT. But notice the shaders stay the same at 2304, but our boost clock is now 2039 megahertz. And let's go into AMD Radeon settings and we'll go to Wattman and we'll see the difference there. And again, if you wanna see all the results, hit that link down in the description that will have all of the links that you need as well as some performance variations. And there you go, look at that. So right now it's set to 20, so yeah, there you go. You can go all the way to 2150. Uh, it's up to you whether you wanna do that, but it unlocks everything else. Uh, it's basically an unrestrained 5700, save you a few bucks and uh, get a little bit extra performance, but it's all on you if you wanna do this and definitely not on me if you break something. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you like and subscribe so that we don't miss you and the next one.